looking at what's going on at this scene right here in Rockville. At least nine people on board a, uh, uh, emergent, a mass casualty unit just left the scene there that Robert was talking about. Our Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is on the ground and he has our update. Hi, Kevin. Hi there, Dave. Yeah, arrived on the scene here about 15 minutes ago. That number nine has been upgraded to about a dozen victims here. You can see a lot of fire activity. The reason for this CO leak is because of this building and the construction work that was being done on it. We're understanding that, that there was some renovation of sorts. And around 2.30 this afternoon, we hear that uh, paramedics were called out to this building for an unconscious male. They put him in an ambulance, and while they were taking him to the hospital, they noticed he had high levels of CO in his system. So the fire department came back out here. You can actually see a number of them gathered by uh, the door right there. They tested the building and noticed very high levels of CO. We're told firefighters typically put on their masks when there are 30 parts per million of CO. This building, I'm told, had a couple hundred parts per million of CO. Just about five minutes ago, we saw uh, a number of individuals loaded into a uh, bus, uh, ambulance bus, which is now en route to Baltimore Shock Trauma Hospital, where uh, the individuals are going to be placed into a hyperbaric chamber. That, uh, in layman's speak, is an oxygen-enriched environment because that is the way to really cure yourself of CO uh, is to just get oxygen. So we are told here by fire officials that that first individual, had he not been located uh, within the time he was, uh, it could have been life-threatening. The other 11 or so victims uh, were located and found uh, in due time. They're all expected to be okay. But Dave, as you know, uh, with cases of CO here, uh, you don't see it. You don't smell it, you don't taste it, uh, and it can really creep up on you really quickly, make you lethargic, and, uh, and that's where we see so many deaths from carbon monoxide. Luckily, uh, like I said, it doesn't appear that there will be anything life-threatening uh, in this case. We'll be, of course, remaining on the scene here, but for now, we are live in Rockville. I'm Kevin Lewis, News Channel 8. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. We appreciate the update from there on the ground.